Welcome to Northeast Alabama and Scottsboro specifically, but even more specifically, did you ever wonder, or have you ever wondered, what happens to luggage that gets lost by airlines and then never gets claimed if they find it? Did you ever wonder where that luggage went? <laughs> have I got something to show you. It all comes to rest right here. And where is here? Why, it's the unclaimed baggage store. That's right, there is such a place. So let's go take a look and see, <laughs> real quick. It's still raining. <laughs> the uh, store's been around for about 50 years. And uh, the interesting thing, too, is that it's the only store of its kind, really, in the United States. So if you figure, figure this out, of all the people that do all the traveling every day, every year, year in and year out, there's only one store like this in the whole country that kind of tells you something about the efficiency, really, of how people and their stuff get from one place to the other without really much loss although it looks like a lot here in fact there's a lot of clothes here there's a lot of clothes over here there's bags um <laughs> purses uh there's over here there's men's coats and over here uh, jewelry watches things like that more jewelry Got shoes up ahead of us here, more clothes to the right, and uh, more clothes even right here. And the interesting thing, too, about the clothes and the stuff that's in here, um, yeah, you know, it's not the most top, top of the line stuff, but if you went to a typical um, store like a Salvation Army or Goodwill, you're getting stuff from people that are giving stuff away that they don't want, right? But this stuff here is people that didn't want to give away their stuff. It's stuff they want to keep, and so here it is. So up here you got some posters, you got some more clothes right here, and then you got some uh, cell phones, sunglasses, more sunglasses, iPads, laptops, More clothes here. There's uh, some more electronics up on the wall there in front here. As we go downstairs, you find books and books and more books. And you'll see some more jewelry and some watches and more jewelry even. But you know the interesting thing about this? There's like a million people that come through this store every year. And through all the 50 years that this place has been in existence, there's only one person that has serendipitously just happened to find their own stuff that they lost. A pair of ski boots. <laughs> How about that? And so that was our visit to the Unclaimed Baggage Museum. <laughs> our Un unclaimed baggage store. So what would you think about that? Um, I looked at some of the prices, but I'm not a shopper, so I can't tell you if they're really good deals or not. Uh, I did look, uh, however, at the electronics, because um, I'm a little bit more in tune with that stuff, and, yeah, you know, whatever. Used prices, but I don't know that they're great big bargains or not. So anyway, looks like a lot of people are here, all from all over the place, Alabama, Tennessee, Louisiana, Mississippi, I think I saw. So, uh, gets quite a bit of business. The unclaimed baggage store. <laughs> if you're in the northeast corner of uh, Alabama, I don't think it's too far from Chattanooga either. You can just uh, come here and Scottsboro, Alabama. And now... 
I'm going to zoom right through uh, Georgia, take a couple days to do that. It's been raining, so I'm not going to stop anywhere, so probably won't have any uh, stuff. So maybe I'll, next time we'll see is in South Carolina or North Carolina. So there I was, minding my business, right? And then all of a sudden, these two scraggly-looking guys on a forest road looked at me. I looked at them, and they said, 